Hello friends, this is Blessed Prince. So in this video, we are going to discuss an introduction to multi-threading, very basics of multi-threading. Okay, so in this slide, I have some, um, some text uh, okay, uh, saying that what is multi-threading. Okay, I wanted you to uh, get rid of this confusions about what is multitasking and multi-threading. Okay, when you, when you have two or three applications running concurrently, let me say you run a paint, you run your uh, you know, document or your notepad or any other, any other three, two or more applications running at the same time, you now that your time it is multitasking. Now here multi-threading, okay, two or more tasks executing concurrently within a single program, okay, from a single application. Okay, my friend Brightji has given a good example. Okay, for example, when you when you run a, a music file, okay, so now you are running a music application now. Okay, like yeah, QuickTime Player in Mac or uh, uh, VLC Player or any any music applications. So okay, so now when you run a music, okay, when you are playing a file, you can also add to the player. Okay, which doesn't disturb the playing. Okay, so playing is done by one thread, and adding files to the playlist is done by another thread. Okay, so now multiple threads in a single application. Okay, in a single that is the music player application in multiple threads concepts are applied. Okay, well, what is a thread? Okay, now a thread is an independent path of execution within a program, or you can time it as a lightweight sub process, a smallest unit of processing. Okay, you can find a lot of definitions, and you may be knowing, right? You know what is a thread? But let's see with that simple example. Okay, how to. Uh, no, not how about creating a thread that we will see in next video now in this video okay what is a thread okay how it is created is it available okay when I create a program okay yes it is let's let's see it with an example okay I'll go to my NetBeans okay I've created a basic application I've created a project okay then uh, named as test the thread basics okay now whenever you create a Java program or any 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 application okay when you create a program okay so there is a thread that is starting up okay now one thread that 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 thread starts running immediately okay is it so then how can I know this okay so that that thread is actually called a main thread okay how to know this main thread Okay, how to know and get this main thread. Okay, so that, that, that is I'm saying that there is a thread available which executes this this program. Okay, how to get and know this main thread. Okay, so we can obtain the thread by getting a reference. There is a method called current thread, which is a static method in the current class. So I'm, I'm creating a reference for thread class and I've named the reference as a main thread because that is going to be the main thread and I'm going to obtain it with the help of thread class and say call current thread okay this current thread method returns me the current running thread I have not created a thread instead I have obtained a reference to the thread that is created automatically okay that begins running automatically okay now let me try to print this okay so simply I'll print this main thread okay and let, let me execute this you can find something here here this is the thread object Okay, so when I print main this object, I'm getting this uh, this description. So now here you can find so this belongs to the thread class, and this is the name of the thread. Okay, so now main is the name of the thread, and another one is the priority of the thread. Okay, and this is the thread group. Okay, so the name you when you create your own threads, you can give names to your thread. So by default, main has given the name as main. Now priority, you can set the priority. There are three uh, you know, the default priorities given. Now whenever a thread is created, the the priority is set to five. And this is main group. Okay, so that is a thread group. Now thread group is actually a data structure that controls the state of collection of the threads as a whole. Okay, so now here let, let, let us see how to control this thread because I have obtained the thread. I can always control this thread. Okay, and my thread I have obtained is with main thread. I can control this thread with the help of thread methods. Okay, let me say I can say I can change the name. Okay, I can I can say change the name to my simply simply I'm giving some name. Let me say my own name. Okay, and I can change the priority. Okay, I can say the main thread. Okay, dot set priority set priority now here I can I can use the priority that is defined by my thread class I can say thread dot there are 
you know final static variables let me say minimum priority then a minimum priority is going to be one maximum priority is going to be 10 and normal priority is going to be 5 so by default it has the normal priority let me set it to minimum okay fine so now I've, I've changed this I've done this okay so uh, let, 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 let us try okay see fine fine okay sorry I have printed it already okay so let's change it okay fine so now you can see okay my, the name is changed the priority is changed okay so I, I can have control over the thread okay so now, now I've changed this now how to control this thread let me see I have some two print statements okay so now which is actually run by this thread let me say bright okay and let me say I have okay um, blessed sorry blessed okay so this is actually executed by my main thread Okay, so if I run the sequence of executions, it's just like that. First print statement is my main thread object, and next is the bright, and next is blessed. This is printed. Okay, so now I can have control over this main thread. Okay, so now I can I can say I, I can control this thread by simply saying okay, so make this thread sleep for some time. Okay, so I can I can simply say sleep. Okay, for how much seconds? Let me say some two thousand, meaning two thousand milliseconds, which is actually two seconds. Okay. So now this sleep method here I can find the error because it throws sleep method it throws interrupted exception okay so it is unreported so I can choose to either report or I can handle so I will better choose to handle this exception so now with the help of try catch I can say try the statement so now if it creates a trouble catch it what is the exception interrupted exception I can say symbol I have done handling this exception okay so what what is going to happen it is going to this thread going to execute here and I'm going to make this thread wait for two seconds then to print this okay let's see right fine can you see it's waiting for two seconds and then it is printing hope you have noticed it okay fine now this is how okay or oh, I have told I have uh, given you a demo of how uh, you know is there a thread created when my application is created yes okay then a thread is thread is created okay now is there is is there only this thread available okay no sorry let, let, let let's see now how many uh, how many threads are uh, you know uh, running okay let's see uh, you know with with your uh, I can I can go to see your Java installation there is a there is a you know you you, you can choose to, to go to your Java installation location this, this is in Mac so let me go here okay so now here um, and in my bin now here I can find something called J console okay now what is this J console okay it is a monitoring tool of the JVM okay which gives you my graphical representation if you could notice something here now I've, I've taken this from the J console okay now let's see I'm going to execute this J console okay go to your terminal and you can or you can simply double click that so now I said J console okay now here okay I've got a console now here I can get my you know NetBeans which is running so it can it is a tool you know provide uh, provides uh, information about your performance okay and resource confirmation con uh, no, resource consumption of your applications that is running on Java platform now here NetBeans is running on Java platform now here I can I can choose any of this okay All right so now yeah. okay I'll go here here you can find okay see threads how many threads are running okay so here I can find this thread names okay finalizer signal dispatcher this is the name of the threads okay see here is the name of the thread okay awt shutdown that there is a thread running okay to destroy a lot of lot of these are the threads that is running okay so they all can find the names names of the threads okay etc okay and what is the state of the thread okay now we will see in the next session states of the thread okay runnable okay so all this all these are in runnable state here you can find this is you know waiting state okay fine this is in runnable state okay so now I hope you're getting okay now this is uh, the peak time there are 51 threads and now there are 38 live threads okay fine so uh, this this you know this uh, this have uh, you can you can check it okay with your J console okay fine so I hope you got something about uh, uh, intro to the thread okay so now uh, thanks for watching now God bless you see you in the next videos right.